Strangulation or suffocation involves the intentional act of blocking someone's breathing or blood circulation. Usually, this is by applying pressure to the neck or by obstructing the nose or mouth. This is a serious crime, especially when it happens in a domestic situation, like between family or household members. Strangulation typically refers to using hands, a rope, or some other object to squeeze the neck, cutting off the air supply or blood flow to the brain. Suffocation, on the other hand, usually involves covering the mouth or nose, preventing the person from breathing. These actions are taken very seriously by the courts because they can quickly lead to unconsciousness, brain damage, or even death. Massachusetts law classifies these acts as felonies, meaning they are treated as major offenses that carry heavy penalties, including significant prison time. When strangulation or suffocation results in serious injury, the consequences can be even more severe. For instance, if the victim suffers permanent disfigurement or if there's a substantial risk of death, the penalties are increased. Even if the victim doesn't suffer visible injuries, the mere act of restricting someone's ability to breathe or circulate blood can be enough for the charge. This means that the evidence, like bruising or other marks, isn't always necessary for a case to proceed. In short, Massachusetts has strict laws against strangulation and suffocation to protect individuals from these dangerous acts especially within domestic settings.